the Showmanship series, we're going to focus on the pivot, which can be a really overwhelming idea at first for both the exhibitor and the horse. I really want to focus on the dynamics of the pivot, rather than just the idea of spinning your horse in a circle. A lot of the problems that I see in the Showmanship ring can be fixed with simply focusing on how the horse is moving his legs. So first, let's go over how the horse should move his legs. You're going to pick one foot that's going to stand still and stick with it. Don't encourage your horse to move that foot. This gives them one concrete idea to focus on and have that reliability. Elliot's watching Barney dig in the dirt. <laughs> Keeping our focus on the hind end, whatever hoof that you don't stick, you want them to bring it forward to be able to move their hips around that pivot leg. In this next clip, you'll be able to see Elliot stick his pivot foot, but also keep moving that other foot up and around. fumbly with their front end in the pivot, so this is something you want to focus on. My mom just texted me. <laughs> okay. Um, stop it. You're so snuggly. Mm, I don't have any more carrots for you. Okay. Since we're always going to be pivoting to the right, you want their left leg to cross over their right. So when you first start training the pivot, you want to just do one of those crossovers at a time and then build into doing a 90, a 180, a 270, and then a full 360. In this next clip, pay attention to how Elliot crosses his left leg over his right leg. Remember, when you go to do the pivot, finish your maneuver that you were doing, stop, breathe, step out, and into your pivot. Another problem that I see with the pivot is people get way too close to their horse and don't give them enough room to move out and around. So instead of doing the pivot from here and trying to push your horse back into it, Step out a little bit and do it from here. Always finish your pivot. Say your pattern asks for a 360. Some people will make the mistake of making like a 340 and just kind of walking right out of it. Instead, you want to finish your complete 360, pause, and then return to your walking position, and then walk off. It makes your pattern a lot more gradual and easy to watch. Nothing in showmanship should be rushed. You want to keep a forward moving nice pace, but not rushing it. So to finish up this video, I'll show you a quick clip of how we perform a pivot in a class. 